Anyang from Korea. I'm here with some people from the hostel. My name is Peter Kirsting. I'm an English teacher in Korea. Where in Korea? I'm from the sticks, man. I'm my way out in Samcheonpo, which is like three hours south of here. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm an English teacher as well, just like Peter. We're traveling together, and I'm from Sacheon, which is a really tiny town uh, in the south of Korea. I love animals, so we found out there's a sheep cafe. Right here. Um, <laughs> and we really want to pet a sheep, so... Let's do it. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. So do we like get coffee first? Do we like pet the animal first? We buy something and then we, we have get to buy something. Admission. So let's, okay. that sounds like a good idea to me anyway. It reminds me of my neighbors. My neighbors actually are cows, so that wasn't like a mean thing to say. It was pretty good. I thought it was really good. Oh, you so If you like ripped open the yeah. stuffing of your pillow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were just like going your hands through your pillow. Like I yeah, don't yeah, know yeah. when you've ever done that. That's exactly what it feels yeah. like. Make sure you say her name. She knows it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> She's a little bit scared. She's like, don't molest me. Oh. Alright, we're outside One Piece Cafe. I'm not really a One Piece fan, but uh, he is, so let's check it out. <laughs> oh, you're a One Piece fan too. We don't have any kind of subway system or anything in the area that we're in because it's just not enough people. There's like 100,000 people in Tom Kong Bo. Mm. If Seoul is New York, the sun is San Francisco. Without the homeless people. Without the homeless people, <laughs> yeah. Without the homeless people or the extra men on the ground. We're in the fish market. Let's check it out. We're not going to call that at all. Anyhow. Tough negotiator. <laughs> All right, good. I like that. Yeah. Of the places you've gone, what was your favorite place to uh, eat? You feel like they said the best food. All the places you want. Honestly, Korea. I would say is my favorite. Yeah. Food. If you factor in price, Korea and Singapore were my first. I've never had a bad meal. You get a bowl of soup or something, it's always like hot with uh, the steam yeah. coming out. It's the consistency of that. And it's a staple meal, right? I like how you always know you're going to be full going in because you at least have the side dish. Yeah. I love that it's spicy. We're in Myeongdong, one of the touristy areas of Korea. A lot of Koreans though. But how do you know they're Korean and not Japanese? Um, that's fair enough. I'm not looking at them that so, carefully. Sometimes right you'll now. see the prices in Japanese actually. You're the expert on this one, man. How do we tell them apart? The more crazier clothes? Japanese. Crazier clothes is Japanese. Yeah. Koreans like to dress really um, nice, I feel like. Mm, yeah, more, yeah. More proper. I've noticed in Seoul a lot more interesting, trendy clothes. Though. But also the hair. Like the Japanese yeah. guys, a lot of Japanese guys have longer hair. Yeah, the Koreans like to do the mushroom cut. They do the, yeah, the, the K-pop whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, this is... I don't really care for myself. I went to school at Northern Arizona University. I was a sports writer, editor, news anchor, and sports reporter on live television. But I've been in a couple of movies. I'm not going anywhere. I'm here. Just like indie stuff. Lead role. <laughs> yeah, check it out. It's, there, a big it's deal. on UTVstudios.com. Um, and I also on my own YouTube I'll put up I made it 48 hour film festival movies for fun in Korea in the last couple months, so that was cool too. This is a seafood uh goji. You know you're gonna know if I really like one because I feel like I'm gonna start dancing. Jim Yusu was delicious. Oh, he likes this one. I haven't tried it yet. Oh, okay, okay. Just excited. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Seoul's got so many different little sections, man. You can spend like a lot of time in every section and not see everything. Definitely. The city's so big. So I'm in the countryside. No one speaks English for the most part. Mm -hmm. I am very much a minority and even I would say somewhat of like a shock factor to certain people because Koreans in that area are not used to seeing foreigners in the smaller towns. It's a pretty cool experience. So how do they react when they see you? It really depends on the person but people are really scared to speak English so they kind of like choke up if you say anything to them in English. Yeah. I think the people here are really friendly. I've had a lot of specific yeah. instances where people went out of their way 
to help me out. Uh, like the other day I was on a bus when I was coming to this yeah, hostel yeah, yeah. all the seats were full and I was holding this really big heavy suitcase and I'm standing up and it's like kind of moving and this old lady literally just she just took the suitcase she was sitting down she just took the suitcase awesome. next to her like not even saying anything and I was like wow I honestly like, cool. feel like that's probably one of my favorite things about the Korean uh, as people a lot of them are really like friendly in that way I've left stuff in restaurants they run to you and give you back the stuff that you left there. It's a comfortable place to live. I think it's one of the most comfortable places to live, actually. It's just easy, everything is efficient, it works. I believe we're in Namdaemun Flea Market right now. Mm. You got your favorite brand right here, Supreme. <laughs> yeah, how did you know? <laughs> this is actually legit. Okay. Inception, right? Uh-huh. Tie-dye is in now. Dude, the 90s are back. Tracksuits. Zipper pants, bandy packs, it's in, it's cool, it's 90s. You heard it here first. Listening to the Korean that the people in Seoul speak sounds really, really, really different from really? what I'm used to listening oh, to. Different accents. I probably sound like a heck out here. It's very harsh. It's a lot more like strong. It's more rugged. It's dark. I've heard that in like dramas and movies, if a character wants to be like a a really harsh character or like a gangster or something like that. Uh -huh. Give him the Busan accent. <laughs> ah, okay. Someone told me that I sound like Owen Wilson once. You know? Oh yeah, like... actually kind of, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say wow? You wow. <laughs> Do you miss the UK? Yeah, I miss home a lot actually. Why? Like, well, the people obviously. I think everyone misses the people. Family? Oh. I think it's the, the small things, you know. Like, when I go to the shopping market, things that I could easily find in the UK. Uh, like I can find good cheese easily. I can find like good donuts easily. Uh -huh. Like small oh, things like that. Dude, we never got donuts. And in, in Korea, like I can't find the things. If I want cheese, I have to have mozzarella or like squirty American cheese. Mm. <laughs> it's just terrible. With jelly. That's a sandwich right there in Korea. That's so funny you mentioned that actually my my Airbnb I was at was a uh, was a family but the father was British and he's lived here 20 years. And yeah, there were some certain foods he missed, and so he started an online catering business. So making like sausages and stuff, mm. I, I don't know, like stuff like that that he missed. And uh, apparently he's doing really well, and he just opened up a cafe. To There's sell a guy that. here in Seoul. I never, we didn't get a chance to go to the place, but he's a German guy who came out here and he makes bread. Mm. Like that's his thing. He's got a bakery right here. Mm. So. European yeah, style bread, bread is a really a commodity in Korea. Yeah, a lot of he said a lot of his customers are expats and Koreans who've studied abroad in the UK or something, and then they come back here and they miss it. So mm. yeah, because yeah. the bread is sweet, mm. sweet bread. Another thing is tea as well. Uh. Like for, for someone who's from England, like uh -huh. I miss tea so much, like English breakfast tea, because mm. they have green tea really here, English, yeah. uh. which is really good, but uh -huh. it doesn't compare for me to uh. English tea. So. Okay, the stereotype is true. Yeah, British it, people it drink a lot of tea. They, Wait, how, how, often, biscuits, how often do you drink tea? In England? Uh, yeah, yeah. Every day. Like, every I day. Like, 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 it's like hey. coffee for the American stereotype. Hey. Ah, so you have like one in the morning. Hey, what is it? Oh, shit. We're getting <laughs> kicked out. We're not paying. We gotta move. <laughs> they love coffee here, though. So. They, they do, yeah. Although I, I heard that's a pretty recent thing, actually. So maybe they will they can develop a taste for tea if you introduce it to them. You would think... Snoopy dabbing with the Louis Vuitton. Oh, I like this one. Crayon Shinchan. You know this guy? It's a famous Japanese cartoon. Yeah. He's got a different name here, he was saying. Uh, o o Orumoyo. One five. Oh, one Okay. Oh, that feels good. We're entering the fourth dimension. Like yeah. It sounds like the Matrix. Wow. Feels. This is cool. Cooler from inside than the outside. Yeah. Do not climb. I like it. I found a nice, comfortable spot. I actually decided to change my fashion style up in Korea. So I wanted to see if my students would change and they respect me more. Mm. <laughs> if I'm dressed well, I'm not even lying. They will listen to me. Wow. Ridiculous thing. They come to be like future fashion. <laughs> that that's true in general in Korea. So I've heard. Very, very I've heard yeah. that. I've heard that in general. So I look like a bum when I teach. So what does that tell you? <laughs> Do my kids respect me? That's loud, man. My kids don't fear me. 
Jason Love. <laughs> I'm good, man. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Take it easy. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, for sure. So come on out, man. Yeah. yeah. Come, come down, dude. Come down. Let's do it. Okay. okay.